I woke up this morning to a notification that Starbucks is having two additional cold brew sweet cream recipes added to their menu. And since I am lactose intolerant, I thought, hey, this would be a great time to try these out. Do I drink coffee? It does not like me. So there's two drinks that have been added, either a vanilla cinnamon cold brew or a dark chocolate cold foam cold brew. And I am gonna go with the dark chocolate one today because I'm feeling a little dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing a drive through so I'm definitely gonna have to uh, not film in there because I'm having a hard enough time right now filming in the parking lot, so. Okay, bye-bye. One social distance trip and a sweaty face mask later, and I have my cold brew. I don't know if you're supposed to stir it. I don't have a straw to stir it, so I think I'm just gonna have to drink it how it is. Bottoms up. Mmm. She good. She tasty. All I kind of taste is chocolate, but I think that that's because um, I have to stir it out. I can taste those jitters coming already. Me in five minutes. All right, um, I'm gonna go back home. So I don't know what you guys are up to today, but I definitely needed some coffee. I have a lot of work to do. You know, this quarantine and all, I just like, I'm super depressed. I need friends, so hi, how are you? Be my friend, comment down below what you're doing today so I can relate to you, bye bye. <laughs> It's tasty. <coughs> it's like creamy and like dark chocolatey and like not too sweet. It's honestly like probably my new favorite coffee if I were to get coffee again. And this is why I don't drink coffee. Ultimately, I would give the coffee a 9 out of 10, only because it's a little bit heavy on the flavoring. I like a more coffee-based flavor. But for anxiety-inducing caffeine levels, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Mmm, yeah! Comment down below, you could be featured in the next video. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Mahalo!